Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is Garden Fresh Vinyl coming at you here once again on YouTube. And uh, today I want, I'm going to be uh, showing you a neat record that I own. Um, I'm going to show you what's inside of this. This is the King of Limbs. This is Radiohead's 8th studio album. And this is actually a special edition uh, vinyl album release. This is what they called the newspaper album. And uh, the reason they call it is because there's a newspaper. But uh, we'll show you that. So without further ado, let's see what's inside. I'm gonna take it out of the sleeve. This plastic came from a shop I got it at. I actually bought it from Amoeba.com for the beautiful price of $40, which was amazing compared to the prices on Amazon. Just considering this was a, I got it sealed, and this was a cold, very, very much collector's item. And uh, so then instead of a traditional album sleeve, it actually comes in a plastic bag, just like your Sunday newspaper. Take a look at the back. With the ticker tape symbol there. Those familiar with Radiohead's label. And a little uh, note about the plastic. They say it's ODB plastic or OBD plastic. I guess that makes it more environmentally friendly. And I love the little note that says, I know you can't read it, but I'll read it. However, despite the carefully chosen short lifespan nature of this packaging, it is hoped that it will be retained rather than discarded as with care, this material will outlive the owner. Oh, uh, true words, Radiohead, true words. All right. Show you the side. And let's see what's inside. So I take the clear plastic off, and the first thing you see is this newspaper. So cool. It is a full-on newspaper. Released into the world on this day, early edition. It was actually released into the world several months after the album came out. This was this came out in May, and the album itself was released in February. Um, yeah, let's see what's going on here. You open up the newspaper, and there's the contents. We'll set those aside for now. Let's take a look at this newspaper real quick. King of Limbs. So awesome. Tons of articles and cool artwork to look here. Like this first page is actually lyrics, not of one particular song, but like an interesting blend of a bunch of the songs from the album that they mixed in together. Some really cool artwork, of course, done by our friends Stanley Donwood and Tom York. And you probably already know this, but I'll say this out there for the fans that don't, that, uh, Stanley Donwood has been on board with Radiohead since since the Benz doing their artwork, designing all their websites. A lot of creative aspect, and Tom York has even said in several interviews that he considers uh, Stanley to be a seventh member of the band. Really cool artwork. Whoa, trippy. <laughs> These articles, this one in particular, some of them are just absolutely, dude, Tommy, I, I, a friend was over reading this and then he commented on one of these paragraphs in here and he turned up to me and he said, I would not be surprised if Tom York killed himself. Now, God forbid, Tom, that would never happen. We know you're not going to do that. But he was just commenting on how insightful and how just really deep these, uh, these writings go. Um, very crazy. I won't go into detail. I don't have time. I could talk forever about that. But it is just, this is a very, very unique piece of artwork that blends visual, literature, physical. I mean, it's, it's a newspaper. It feels in the newspaper like I have to be gentle with it. I don't want to crease it, otherwise it won't hold. Here we go. Here's where they put the album credits. It's just chilling in here. Uh, two things I'll comment on the album credits that are really cool is that so this this imagery was summoned up by Zachariah Wildwood, Zachariah Wildwood and Donald Twain. And that's, of course, those are pseudonyms for Stanley and Tom. So that's really cool. And the other thing, too, that's cool on here is a big thank you very much indeed to Drew Barrymore. Um, there's speculation of what that's about, but the general consensus is that this album was recorded at Drew Barrymore's mansion in Los Angeles. And uh, there's, you know, little little facts here and there to support it, but Radiohead's never come out right and said it. You 
can recognize some of these lyrics. Oh, just so cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even done flipping through the newspaper yet, and I already got my 40 bucks worth. Especially with Radiohead. We'll throw back to Idiotech perchance. Yeah, what is love? It's a good question. And the track listing on the back. Run through it real quick. Quick. It's actually their shortest album. So I think the runtime is somewhere between 33 and 35 minutes. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Bloom, Morning Mr. Magpie, Little by Little, Feral, Lotus Flower, Codex, Give Up the Ghost, Separator. Um, definitely one of my favorite tracks from the album is Separator, and I think Feral is also good. I think um, Feral doesn't get the credit it deserves because people just kind of think it's too experimental, but if you've ever heard it live, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so now let's see what's going on here. Here's the front of the album sleeve. Cool artwork. That was also on the front page of the newspaper. And the back is the uh, standard King of Limbs artwork that we're familiar with. Spine. And let's slide these things out here. Okay, first thing is the, I, I would, now what I'm about to show you is the coolest part of this whole package. And uh, you don't have to be a druggie to appreciate this, but this is parchment paper. This is the legitimate blotting paper that chemists, among other people, might use to drop acidic compound formulas in the, like, Acidic. I'm. Let's let's not beat around the bush. This is what you put acid on. <laughs> this is what people drop acid on. These are little perforated acid tabs. Um, I don't want to take one, you know. But they're all unique artwork. The Lumber Radiohead cut hands. We got the standard, the bear in the middle. So cool. I guess that's the one you put four drops on, huh? But yeah, I've never done acid. I don't. I don't condone it if you don't know what you're doing. But hey, teach his own. So awesome. It's perforated. Yeah. Comes with a little CD. Ticker tape. There's a CD. I don't know if it's the same as the uh, standard CD release because I don't own it. But take the front, the backs, and some of this artwork was used in the. Uh, Newspaper, and I'll pull one of them out. I don't want to handle the the records too hard because they did come on clear vinyl. Those are you have to be careful with those because they. I don't know why. I just feel like I gotta be more careful with it. But really cool. All right, and that is the King of Limbs newspaper edition. I get an aerial shot. Thanks for checking it out. If you uh, happen to see this at your record store at a reasonable price, swoop it up because this is a gold mine. All right. Thanks, YouTube. I will see you later.